Okay, welcome back. So, in the last part, we did Toasty. And we managed to get a hidden character, Cosmo. And in between, I unlocked Smith. So, again, how you get Smith is you um, type in Spam in the main menu. You go into the character, select, you type Spam. Then into the stage select, type spam, and then when you go into the level itself, um, you can't you can't do it on the Arcana screen, as far as I'm aware. Um, you have to like click through that real quick and type humbug, and you have you have to do all of this within like thirty seconds or so from when you typed in spam on the home screen. And then if you do it correctly, you unlock Smith the fourth or Smith IV. Um, the quirky white bear. Okay. Um, so Smith, very similar to X dash and toasty. Um, main difference is the starting weapon, which is the, um, I forget what the bird's name is, but it's the, it's essentially the, um, evolved form. Um, so Smith starts off with a max health of nine. <laughs> not, not very good. Uh, pretty similar stats to, uh, to Toasty here, except slightly more health. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to say let's start with let's do the inlaid library. All right. Um, I kind of like the idea of doing Gemini um, because our bird essentially gives us two of the uh, a counterpart for each of the two birds that makes it up. I'm gonna take uh, garlic just so we have something to deal with these early enemies fairly easily. Um, I don't really like any of these, but I'll so take the gun. So I imagine we're gonna need. Um, I don't really want Pentagram this run. Um, I guess we'll take a Tract Orb. I'd really like to get... I'd really like to get Hollow Heart. So that we can... Oh, does the gun gets affected by Gemini too, doesn't it? That's nice. I wish there was a way to check the Arcanas. I don't know if there is. Um, let's take the slightly larger radius because the garlic is still pretty helpful towards the early part. It loses its uh, effectiveness probably by like the 10 minute mark or so. But for right now, it's pretty good. I'm gonna take bird. So there is one new character that we can unlock um, and you can unlock this character on any stage that had a coffin. Um, you have to have already gotten the coffin on the stage but um we could take uh the ebony wings although i don't think i'm gonna do that because i wanna i i did think about it maybe see like how many extra birds we can get could be fun if they offer it again maybe maybe we'll do it i don't know i'm i'm just a little more concerned about surviving uh, hollow heart, please. 
So that gives us 11 health. It's not very much, but I mean, some amount of health is always good. And it should increase our chance of getting whip, which is the one that I actually kind of want. Um, I think I need to take stuff that'll keep me alive over stuff that will just increase the amount of XP that we pick up. Here's the problem. I don't think we can evolve these again. Like, I don't think we can have two of the uh, evolved bird. So we'd essentially be taking the bird to keep the entire time. We wouldn't be able to evolve it. It'd be pretty broken if it was able to be evolved. Armor might not be a bad idea. Um, the mummies are definitely going to be the biggest problem right now. Uh, they, they won't easily die from just hitting my uh, garlic, sadly. Looks like it takes at least two hits from the garlic to kill them. Although, if they're getting close enough to me that they're getting hit by the garlic, then they're probably getting hit by something else. So yeah, our goal for this one is to unlock the new character. Um, I think the they're almost to the point where they're going to fully release the game. Like, uh, or it comes out of early access, technically. I think they're almost to that point. Which is pretty cool. Um, I think they are increasing the price a little, but I have no clue how much it's going to be. It doesn't seem like they intend to increase it by much, though. So if you're, like, still considering getting it, I mean, I'd say, you know, get it anyways. Um... There's a lot here, and it's very much worth your money. If you think, if you're uh, just watching, just now watching this, or even if you've been watching it, you know, since the start, um, then you obviously know that there's a uh, there's quite a bit in this game. Just by you know looking at the menus, see how many new characters you can unlock. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely recommend this game to anyone who was interested. It's not a... it really isn't a hard game to get into. Take that. Just so we guarantee that we can get it. Alright, I think the only other weapon that I'd really like to get is the, uh... The second gun. Um, so I'll take that. Eh. I do really like playing as the characters that have the evolved weapons already. I know it does make it a little easier when you're not having to get things leveled up 
enough just to get a weapon. But, I mean, even, even then, like, it can still be kind of challenging, and the game really does give you a lot of different options to make the challenge as hard as you want. I mean, at the end of the day, you're still, you know, doing the same sort of things. Um, do we want duplicator? So we don't need anything for the first item. I don't really care about evolving garlic. Um, we're going to need Tirgasu for the guns. And at that point, I mean, we could go duplicator and then just see what we get. More projectiles is always beneficial. There's obviously some amount of strategy in choosing um, different weapons to go with, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just kind of dependent upon what you like the most. So I, I personally really like the um, the uh, the King's Bible, which is. Something that I definitely take a lot more than what I probably should. Um, but it's so nice when you can just kind of walk into enemies and they just die. You don't have to. You don't have to play chicken with them, or you don't have to run around them and avoid them as much. And it's it's just very nice, <laughs> very handy. I feel like they have neutered it a little bit in the past, um, because I remember playing it once uh, when I got it... Oh, jeez. I must have accidentally touched something. Um, yeah, that's something that I have to kind of pay attention to, because I, I still only have 11 health. <laughs> um, and we're almost... You know, we're going to be getting to that point where more enemies spawn. So I really need um, Hollow Heart to pop up a little more. Um, that's really not what I want. Brazer might not be a bad idea. Um, yeah, let's take Brazer. Still looking for Tiragasu and the second, the red gun. I don't, I always forget the names. I could really use like a three or even a five would be really handy. Because I don't think you can evolve anything uh, before the 10 minute mark. go with the whip. You could get Vandalier. That, that's the name of the bird. Um, just so we can get it out of the rotation. But let's go ahead and I do want to get the whip evolved. We're going to take the the red gun, because that just makes the most sense. We'll, we'll be offered Hollow Heart more later on, as we start to get more and more stuff out of the rotation. 
Um, yes, let's take Hollow Heart. Where are we at? 13, yeah. Hollow Heart really doesn't give you much. But. Take Garlic, get it out of the rotation. Garlic still does, I think, can still one-shot these ghosts. Uh, let's take Duplicator to get that out of the rotation. Ooh, yes. Um, I don't really care about Plumera. Or Pumarola, I guess. That's the... Um... Firebread, or the... Is this... Is that what it's called? Uh, like, officially called NFT? Is that the actual name for that thing? The, the thing that I always call Firebread, because that's literally what it looks like. Um, I really wanted to kill that thing. Uh, do we have anything... No, we don't have anything that we can evolve right now. If we took Pumarola, then maybe we take that and just get the the upgraded uh, garlic, but I don't see a pressing reason to do that. Uh, okay, yes. Thank you. I did kind of forget that we needed uh, Tirkasu to evolve the the weapons, the the guns. Yay, gold fever, that thing that I don't really need or care about. <laughs> okay, we we got a couple extra chests. Let's go ahead and open at least one of them. Okay. Got a new Arcana, so we could get more revivals. That might not be a bad idea, especially with how weak um, he can be. Uh, healing is doubled. That's not. I think we might take this one. So consuming a revival will give us plus ten percent maximum health. Pretty good, considering we don't have really any health. Um, plus one armor and plus five percent might, area, duration, and speed. I think that's a good idea to take, especially in our situ in our current situation. Yeah, at this point, money is so unnecessary. <laughs> we we definitely do not care about it as much as we had in the past. Um. I okay, will take Tirakasu. So now, dying maybe once might not be a bad idea, but I I personally prefer to just keep as many revivals as I can. Um, let's take Hollow Heart. Um, I guess, yeah, let's take... It's not really beneficial because we have so little health. Um, but we might as well take something that will, you know, evolve and it is... It is more powerful than the regular garlic, so it's not like it's... It's not a bad thing to take, but it does take up a slot that we could otherwise use for something else. But I think what we... all the passive items that we have are still good choices. would very much like to evolve the whips as quickly as possible. Um, I would also very much like it if we 
game would give me the weapons that I want. We are getting close-ish. Like, we'll get there in time. I'm not concerned about that. Um, I suppose we could. Or we could... Or we could just not take any of the chests right now and almost guarantee that we do get the evolved weapons. Um, let's take Bento Sacro. I do want to try and evolve both of them as quickly as possible. Would be very handy if the game would give me the regular whip. Let's take at least one of these. One of these chests. Okay, hollow heart. I suppose that's fine. Gives us a little more health to work with. Um, gun is kind of not what I want. I guess let's take hollow heart. We'll get it out of the rotation. Hopefully, ensure that we get the items we want. Yes. Alright, let's take this. Excellent. You can always tell if it's an evolution uh, because the icons are different. They're always going to be evolution um, icons. Alright, let's go back. Look at. You want to get the. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm, I know that that was pronounced perfectly. Excellent. That should be all of them. That's what we like to see. Okay, so now our... We got another weapon slot opened up which is very handy to see. Let's go ahead and pick up all that meat because uh, we have really no control over what we pick up uh, so we could get that clover. Um, okay, so there's no point in taking King's Bible since we don't have um, whatever the... Uh, Oh, I can't even remember what it's called now. Um, we could take Santa water. That might not be the worst decision. I don't think we're... I don't think I'm looking to go for the, um, the Reaper kill this run. So, I think... I think we have so far works. Alright, let's just go ahead and get both of these chests, because I don't really feel like waiting around here until we get enough. Enough levels to evolve them. We'll, I will prioritize, you know, picking them up and picking up the, the guns when offered. Still do need to be careful because I don't want to accidentally run into a bunch of enemies. Okay, Pomerola is fine, I guess. Again, it... it 
is really not all that helpful. Since we have so little health. Alright, let's go ahead and prioritize getting to the uh, the coffin. Die, die, you undead and mucus things. Okay, um, do we want Santa water or do we want maybe beast spade? Uh, beast spade, yeah. Um, base speed uh, up for everyone or for every item. Uh, sounds like a good idea. should be more than capable of getting the, the coffin opened up. Um, yeah, those things are going to spawn, but they're going to die pretty quickly, because... Alright, so now that we've done that, uh, in the character select screen, there will be a new character. Yes. Uh, let's take a tract orb. Tract orb. Because it does make sense to take a tract orb before you, you know, take all the other items, because, um, otherwise, what's the point? Uh, do we. Not quite yet. Let's, uh,. Let's try and get the last level of the, um... Of the, the red gun before we take this chest. Just to hopefully guarantee that we get the, um, the evolution. Alright. Nice. All right, sweet. So, yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't... Oh, that's right, we have the, um, the companion, uh... The companions for the, um, the two guns. So even though we, uh, evolved the... We already evolved the guns. Um, we also get a companion for each of them, still, because of Gemini. Um, I don't really want Lightning Ring. I mean, we could take it. I'm gonna take Santa Water though. One of these times we will, uh, I will show off the uh, the Reaper kill with the new um, the new strategy for the Reaper kill, um, which is now the like intended strategy. I don't know how they necessarily intended you to do it before, but um, now it's definitely a lot easier to do. Clarice strat is still, you know, a, a worthwhile uh, strat to know. Um, I think uh, it's very much worth your time to uh, to try it, just to just you know see see if you can do it. Uh, 
you know what? Let's go Clock Lancelet. Why not? I don't think we're gonna, you know, be able to pull it off, but... Especially since we don't have, uh... Um... Whatever it's called. Laurels. And the fact that we don't have the, uh... Um, either of the rings right now. Let alone, I think, the time. I hate it when these things show up and you don't even take the item. Now, the fact that he spawned, even though I wasn't able to take... I didn't take the item, we might as well just take it. And if it's the bad one, then we'll get rid of it. Ooh, nice, an Arcana. Um, okay, what do we want to take? Yeah, I think that one would make sense since we have both, essentially both of them, right? Let's go ahead and banish that, because that's the bad one. I think both of the bad ones are on this side, while both of the good ones are on the other side. Uh, I guess we could take Clock Lancelet. Um, let me take Brazer, get that out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that these things spawn. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on him. Get rid of him, make sure that he's not being an annoying jerk, showing up right in front of me while I'm trying to walk. Alright, I didn't... oh! Luck. Nice. We get... Um... Now, again, I don't think we're going to be able to actually evolve this thing, but we might as well try. Got nothing better to do for the next eight minutes, except enjoy each other's uh, company. What are you doing today? Oh, really? Hmm. No, oh, that's too bad. All right. Well, I'm I'm doing okay. I'm just just recording. Just having some fun, playing a a fun little game. Um. Recorded the uh, the episode of Pokemon uh, Crystal for this week, right before this. I. I recorded, like, the, the gameplay, because I always do... I always do my parts uh, for um, Pokemon and other RPGs post, because I don't really want to have to... Uh, it, it's just easier, in my opinion, to do it that way. Um, because of the way RPGs are with uh, their random encounters. Especially when whenever I'm doing them with someone else, I I want to make sure that our time is best spent. So doing spending, you know, 30% of the time in random encounters that we don't need to really show um, is just wasted time that I would rather spend with the person, um, that I'm playing the game with, so. So that's my reason as to why I usually do, um, uh, RPGs post-commentary.
Alright. We might actually get uh, Smith up to a hundred. I don't think there's there's nothing like there's no reward for doing that, but looks like we left a chest behind, but that's okay. Far back was it? Uh, pretty far back. So, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, there's the final boss. Yeah, we're definitely not going to evolve the, uh, the clock landslip. Nice. I think you can only get one e one evolution in a three or five chest, as far as I'm aware. I've never had that. No, I've never had it happen where I've gotten two at a time. Yeah. Um. Let's just go always uh, chicken because I don't really want to think about it. And we might need the health. And seeing as how we have less than, you know, 30 HP, uh, it's essentially going to be a full restore every time we um, gain a level. In between episodes, I did uh, finish off. Ooh, there actually is another chest, although I don't think we're going to really have time to come back and get it, even if we wanted to. Ooh, there is a uh, empty tome. Go ahead and pick this up. So much death and destruction. So again, we're probably not going to be able to really do much against um, against the Reaper since, uh, you know, he... There's one more empty tone between here and the Silver Ring. Um, so we don't need to worry about evolving the empty tome, or leveling up the empty tome at this point. Uh, so since we don't have the laurels, there's a very good chance that we're not going to be able to... Oh, I can't even see it. you um let's go ahead and prioritize the silver ring since there might still be a chance that we can evolve it especially if we pick up a bunch of levels so i have no clue where this empty kill is All right. There's so much on the screen, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's hard to... Oh, shoot. I did not mean to take that. Where is the chest? Can't. 
Okay, there it is. God, there's so much going on. Alright, excellent. So we took the infinite corridor. Have's enemy's strength. Oh god, this I can't imagine like how bad this looks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just there's really nothing that I can do about it. That's just how the game is. And it's surprising that the game runs as well as it does. I mean, you can tell that it starts to lag towards the end when you got so many enemies and all this crazy stuff going on on screen. God. <laughs> At this point, um, just kind of standing still is probably the best course of action. Um, I think everything should more or less keep us safe. We have a lot of uh, a lot of base area, it seems, on our on our weapons. We're at 141 uh, level 141, as you as you normally do. Honestly, this might be the highest I've ever seen us go. Alright, here it comes. Which way is it going to come from? Problem is I can't. I can hardly see where the. Um, did I kill him? Did I pick something else up? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Now, doing it without laurels be kind of challenging because um, if he manages to latch on to, we actually killed him. We did it without laurels. Okay, well, so this is what happens when you manage to kill the Red Death with, um, with like the infinite corridor and stuff. Um, everything kind of starts zooming in, um, and you get this sort of eerie feeling that something is about to happen. Well, here's the thing. Um, that will start following you. Uh, the White Death or Gray Death. You can't do anything to him. Uh, none of your weapons will harm him. Um, yeah, at this, at this point, there's really nothing that we can do. He's instantaneous. He'll rip right through any of your laurels if you have any. So, um, I believe you get five gold eggs when you die to... Or, not when you die, when you uh, beat the Red Death. Game over. We have a lot of revives because we took that one um, Arcana. This might be the last one. Yep. All right. So, um, the, take a look. Random. So this, I think, is essentially the successor to the... Um, to uh, Missing No, which was an old character that was in the game, but was removed. And Missing No was essentially um, just a randomized uh, character. Like, um, we could probably go ahead and show it off. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Laurel is such a bad start, though. <laughs> um, so, we'll, that's just a, a sneak preview for uh, next week's episode. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing uh, 
random or missing no or whatever you want to call them. A uh, bunch of random little stats, I think. Uh, so should be fun. All right. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.